Yo, what is up my beautiful people? Here you can see I have the GPD Win Mini. And it is actually one of my favorite uh, small handhelds. I actually think it is the best portable handheld PC on the market right now. As you can see, it's pretty small. You can even close it up. This thing can fit in a pocket. Check out my last video. This Win Mini can fit inside of a pocket. And I think it is a, uh, a great device. But one thing that comes with it being sort of uh, a small form factor is the fact that the sticks are actually pretty small here. So um, one thing that I don't really like about it is when playing like FPS games, the sticks do not offer the best sort of, you know, control or precision. And that's one of my main sort of, you know, gripes with this device here is the precision and the control with the actual sticks um, being such low profile and then playing like FPS or shooting games. So today, I'm gonna be showing you how to use gyro to take your aiming on the wind mini to the next level and i think it improves the experience in fps or any shooting game like a hundred times better so i'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways we have the mouse uh, gyro emulation and then we have the xbox controller gyro emulation so i'm going to show you both types so stay tuned for that and make sure you stick around um, because both types are needed for different types of games so let's get into it but before we do that Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, all that great YouTube stuff. So I keep coming with you more brilliant average two videos because this is a good one. This one actually was requested. So shout out to the viewer that, that uh, requested the video. This one's for you and a few other people that actually requested it, um, you know, ever since I got this device in. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first gyro mode I'm gonna show you how to use is the mouse emulation gyro. Now, I made my cursor nice and big and bright so you guys can see it and follow along easily. So let's get into it. The first thing you wanna do is open the motion assistant software. So I have mine set to a hotkey. I can just press this and open the motion assistant. But if you had, don't have a hotkey or anything set up, just open the, the motion assistant. It should be on your desktop or in your applications. And now here we are. Now you see on the top, I'll go back to the first option here, TDP. This is probably what you use most often. This is to set the TDP and different things like that. The, you know, the uh, clock speeds and everything like that. You know what this is, what we're for the gyro. So first thing we're doing, gonna do is go to gyro input. You're gonna wanna make sure it's set to handheld internal because that's going to be the internal gyro in the actual device now we can um have auto cloak on that's going to cloak the controller we use controller mode we'll talk about that in the next section now what you want to do in this uh menu here is click on gyro data and you see these sliders here you're going to want to rotate the device because you want to see those sliders moving if these sliders are not moving that, re that means the gyro is not on for whatever reason it's not initialized maybe it's auto whatever you want to restart the device so if you move the device and it's not moving these sliders you want to go ahead and restart your device and that's going to uh reinitialize the gyro so now the gyro is activated and you made sure that it's on we don't want to go to gyro simulate now this is where all of your configuration goes for the gyro this is going to be important now for this first section i told you we're doing the mouse gyro simulation so on the top here where you have the gyro simulate mode we're going to click on that mouse option now this is going to simulate the mouse so when you move the device it's going to move the cursor now these are your configuration settings that you want to be adjusting. Mouse sensitivity, I have that set to five. It goes all the way up to 10, so from one to 10. I like five because it's a pretty even option. In most games, I don't have to adjust like the mouse sensitivity to get a good um, control. Now, the axis select. The axis means the way that you rotate it to actually move the device. I like X, Z rule because that means when I rotate it left and right, it's gonna move the cursor left and right. The X, Y, yaw means that I have to rotate it like this to get it to move left and right. I don't really like that, but I'll show you in a second how that works. The uh, vertical gain is like how much is vertical, so left and right. Horizontal gain is how much gain is up and down. So vertical is across, horizontal is up and down. Now, I have it set to, I have it set to Xbox layout. You don't have to change anything else. You can like, you know, mess with these numbers to your liking, but these are just what I have it set up. This is like a good, um, you know, medium ground. Now we're gonna wanna go to gyro enable because gyro is not on. It's set up, but it's not on. And I have it set to left trigger here because I want it to emulate when I'm like in a shooting game, when I aimed on the sights, I want the gyro to turn on. So I have it set to left trigger, but it's not on right now. You can set a, a hotkey to turn it on, right? So I have mine set to alt 
G. So when I press Alt G, it's gonna turn on the gyro. And now you can see the gyro is activated and I can move it around and I can press Alt G again and it's gonna turn it off so it doesn't move. Or you can use this little um, track box up here in the top left turn that on and that's going to activate your gyro. So now we have mouse gyro enabled, which means that I move the mouse left and right, it's going to move the uh, cursor left and right, When I tilt it up to non, it's going to move the mouse cursor up and down. Now I'll show you why I don't like the X, Y, yaw, is because I have to rotate this way to get it to move and I don't I don't really like that. I like having it set to X, Z rule because that way when I point the device in a certain direction, the cursor is gonna aim in that direction. And to me, that just seems more natural. Like I see an enemy on the right, I point to the right. I see an enemy on the left, I point to the left, and then my um, cursor and my aim follows that way. That just makes more sense to my brain. If you like the rule, set it to the, uh, or if you like the yaw, set it to the yaw and have a great time. Just test it out, see what you like better. But now we finally have our gyro set up. Let's get into a game and test it out. Okay, so in a shooting game here, and this is a first person shooter, as you can see. And I'm moving the right stick, everything is working fine. Now this game, like I mentioned before, has a controller and mouse input simultaneously. So you can see I can move the uh, aim with the trackpad here, or I can move it with the, the joystick here. So this has simultaneous inputs. Um, as you can see here, this is this game doesn't actually have like, um, this gun doesn't have like, any aimed on sights. But if I hold the left stick, as you can see here, I can now move the aim. As you can see, I can move the aim around, which means I get a much better aiming experience. Now let's get into some enemies and you can see it in action. Okay, so as you can see here, I can uh, hold on the left trigger and then like use the device itself to find my uh, target here. It's hard to play behind the camera, but hopefully you can get an idea of me using the jar here. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy without even using the right stick here. So as you can see, I'm using the just the gyro and I'm not even touching the right stick. And as you can see, I am finding my targets and able to use the gyro to lock onto them, even a moving target up here. I'm not even touching the right stick. So I can play this whole level right here without even touching the right stick, as you guys can see here. So my finger's off the right stick and I'm still able to find my target um, pretty easily. Um, feels even better than using the stick to find the target. Dial it into your specific settings, how you like it and you can have a good time using the mouse uh, for aiming with the gyro and you can still use the controller as needed. Um, so this is what I think is great for games that have simultaneous mouse and gyro input. Now let's show you how to set up the Xbox controller for games like Call of Duty and games that you know don't let you use the mouse and controller at the same time. So let's set that up. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to do the Xbox controller option. And this is gonna be great for games that don't have uh, mouse and joystick input simultaneously. That's like Call of Duty. And I think some other multiplayer games that don't like you using a mouse and a controller for like some sort of advantage. But I know, I know for a fact that Call of Duty does not allow mouse and controller input simultaneously. So that's what we're gonna be using for this demonstration. Now, we're going back to Motion Assistant. As you can see, the gyro is still on the mouse mode here. We're gonna wanna go and turn that off just because I don't want it to like mess up any settings with it still being on. Not sure if you have to turn it off, but I just like to turn it off before moving to the next option, just so that it can sort of reinitialize correctly. Now, all you need to do is click on the Xbox stick mode and you'll see these options change. So now you can adjust the mouse sensitivity, but you can adjust the joystick sensitivity. So the joystick sensitivity is, um, is like the joystick. I have this at the seven, it can go all the way up to 10. I like it at seven, but like I said, mess with those sensitivity options to fit your needs specifically. Now, all these other options go between the you know the two options, so mouse and joystick, only the sensitivity is sort of specific for the actual mode. Now, once we set that up, everything else is the same. Our trigger is still gonna activate it. Um, the, uh, the cot key to activate is still the same, but it's not actually on. I'm gonna make sure you turn it back on and you're gonna hear it sound like uh, it connected another device that's because you, your computer now sees a virtual controller. Now you wanna, before you do anything, go to like a gamepad tester. I'm using a hardware tester.com. Go to a gamepad tester and you're gonna wanna make sure that's working. So you can see the controller, check all your buttons, is registered as an Xbox controller. But now when I press this left trigger, you can see I have the right stick going crazy because it now is activated with the gyro. I take it off, the right stick can do its own thing. When I put it on, the left uh, left trigger 
it is activated that gyro so that is good you want to make sure you test that out first before you dive into a game and then you're kind of upset no when we're testing uh call of duty one thing you may want to do first is go into call of duty right and then what you're going to want to do is you want to uh uh disable the steam input because for some reason with the steam input on it still sees like two controllers in steam not sure why but just turn off the controller or the steam input first um if, if just to avoid any issues uh in the game itself so turn off the steam input for whatever game you're going to be using the xbox controller uh emulation for gyro now we're going to play the game and i'll show you guys the uh, gyro aiming okay so now we're in call of duty now this is all older call of duty this is like cold war but this is just a demonstration. It will work in like, you know, any Call of Duty or any shooting game that doesn't require or that doesn't have mouse and uh, controller input. So I'll show you how to use the, or how the gyro actually works. So let's find some enemies here. It's not to play on the camera, so forgive me if I'm trash. But as you can see here, I need to find my targets and lock on pretty easily. As you can see that we had three enemies there and I was able to go between them pretty smoothly just using the gyro here, but I'll show you a little bit better. You can see I go up and down, left and right. And this is the gyro in action. So even enemies that are pretty far away, you can still lock on with the gyro and get a pretty decent, uh, precise uh, aiming sort of uh, scenario. As you can see here, as I move it around, I go up, down, left, right. And it does feel pretty precise. As you can see, I can like, you know, if I need to track a target, I can actually do that. And it is actually very not oh sorry <laughs> i died trying to show off but anyway as you can see here i'm able to use the gyro to aim i don't want to waste too much of your time uh, i can you know do a, a more gameplay but it's just going to showcase what you guys already know go use the settings i just gave you set it up use the gyro have fun dial it in adjust the settings to fit your needs and you should have a good time i mean it's really just knowing how to set it up and then after that just activating it and using it in all of your games but yeah this is how you use the gyro so we did the mouse aiming and the controller uh, gyro and you should be able to use those two for all of your games and not have to worry about you know if it's going to be compatible if it doesn't work in the you know gamepad mode use the mouse mode i would say start off with the mouse mode first because most games that have shooting or aiming have like mouse and controller input but then if the mouse mode doesn't work then switch over to the Xbox controller mode because the Xbox controller mode does need a little bit more uh, setup because you may have to go in and disable controller input. You may have to experiment a little bit more. So make sure you, you know, try out both options to see which one works best for you. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be using the gyro on the GPD Win Mini. Now I always use gyro for shooting games. I don't play any shooting game on the Win Mini without the gyro because it is a game changer. These sticks are not the best for um, shooting games. Uh, you could do it, but it's kind of you know not the best case scenario and that's like my main complaint with this device here so yeah um hopefully this video helped you um and if it did make sure you smash that like button subscribe ring that bell all that good youtube stuff and maybe share this to help someone else who needs you know help with the gyro on the wind uh wind devices any gpd device they will work um but i was just using the wind mini for this demonstration but anyway uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one Win Mini is an awesome device, and with Gyro, it really takes it to the next level, and I can't really complain, because the only complaint I had was aiming, but with the Gyro, no more complaining for aiming. Um, does that rhyme? I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.